Welcome to the attic. Another episode of the Serial Will It Fix. With me today I have this uh, radio amplifier from Tonberg. It is a Sol Super 12. It behaves a little strange. So what we're going to do? We're going uh, we're going to recap it. Oh well, I'm going to show you what the recapping is, and we're going to adjust some uh, some voltages and currents. And let's see if it is possible to fix or if it will dispose. So come join me. Uh, let's open it and uh, see what we can can find. And as most of the uh, of Tonberg radio amplifiers and amplifier amplifiers from the seventies. Kind of easy to open. Two screws on each side. And we just lift off the top. I have to admit, uh, I have been starting this one. Um, these, these two, these two capacitors. It is for uh, for right and left power um, power amplifier. I have been replaced those two, and it seems like it has been someone here before me. I don't know if you can see. See down there. See some light. Some blue purple capacitors seems like they have been been replaced before but I'm not sure so what we're going to do we're going to replace them all and uh, just make sure I'm going also to uh, to check the service manual to see if um, these light purple if they are if they correct value So, yes, we just get into it. And of course, uh, it is on clips on the side and have to be careful about these switches lift off and you have the phone for the headphones and that one is just going to release ouch Like that, off we go, and then we have full access uh, to the PCB. So we're starting, it's a capacitor right here. That one is forty seven microfarad, thirty five working voltage DC, and uh, it is quite a few of those. And 
and also half for the replacement is 47 microfarad is 63 volt. I choose to have in stock 63 volt because they can be used on several applications. It does not matter. It really does not matter. If there has been 16 volts who has been sitting here, you could use 63 volt. It really does not matter. Uh, one thing you should know is that to focus down here, it has a ring, so it has a center and a line out. The center is positive and the line out is the negative. And for the capacitors also for all electronic components, the short leg is the negative and the long leg is the positive. So there we go and over to the next, uh, next capacitors. Like that. Seems like none is forgotten. This is what I have been replaced. All these electrolytic capacitors. And I also replaced a couple of tantals. Those are pretty. Uh, I have been reading a lot of people who have problems with uh, turntables uh, on um, on the Tonberg amplifiers and what I have been writing is that the right channel is falling out or the left channel is falling out it's total quiet and I noticed I have been located it all down to these tantals so I always replace those Yes, next thing is to cut everything down and uh, put back this, uh, this bottom cover and start up to adjust. So the mission now will be to adjust the voltage which is over the um, the voltage over the, the cap uh, these two capacitors it's supposed to be 20.1 volt I'm going to adjust the current through that resistor which is I cannot remember the current but it is supposed to be uh, 15 milliamps 9 mill uh, 15 millivolts over this resistor but before uh, and to adjust these capacitors it is this potentiometer and this one and to adjust the voltage over that resistor is that potentiometer and that one but before we do any kind of adjustments we're going to clean that one 
those. We're going to clean them uh, because, yes, as uh, every potentiometer who has been standing still for like 50 years, they uh, get full of dust uh, and uh, they dry out. So we're going to clean them and going to lubricate them and let them dry before we start up. That. Then I'm going to let them dry a little before we power it up and start adjusting. Uh, this is going to be exciting. Um, let's see, uh, we're going to um, check the voltage uh, over the uh, over the capacitors uh, over the capacitor first. Let's buckle up this one to the ground. Give me some ground. Like that, and this one to the positive side of the capacitor. Which down there. Now we can lay down like that. That's okay. And it is that one you're going to you see that one? Is, is that what you're going to adjust? And the voltage. 20.1 volt. Okay. Let's power up. Uh, a little high. Does not want to get any further down than 22. Okay, let's see the voltage over the resistor back there then. Um, power off. That's supposed to be 837, which is that one. Millivolt, and going to be fifteen. Yeah. Try again. That was not too bad. Don't over the transformer, please. Thirteen twenty fifteen. Now we're going to try again to check the voltage over the capacitor. Suppose twenty point one. Oh, 
Well, that was weird. I've been checking everything. Uh, it is impossible to get the voltage over the uh, with the capacitor less than 21 volt. The only thing I have not done with this one is to replace that capacitor. I just wonder, is that the sinner? It's um, 4000 microfarad. I don't have that one, I have this one, 10,000. Well, the only thing happen is the ripple voltage will be less. Does not harm anything, it only get better. Let's try to replace that one and uh, let's check back again. I did a couple of changes uh, which I did not be able, uh, was not able to put on uh, on video. One of those was I replaced this one. Uh, I really don't know if if it really matters. Um, it is it is an old one. Um, it's a four thousand microfarad. I replaced it with a lot bigger one. It's ten thousand microfarad. Does not matter. Uh, only thing you, you achieve is that you get a less ripple voltage, which is all good. And I did something else as well. I changed it, the supply voltage to the transformer from 220 to 240 volt. Because in Norway we have 230 volt power supply. And I just like, uh, it is kind of a mismatch when you have a 220 volt and you you post supply 230, then of course all the voltage on the board will be wrong. And then uh, when I replace, uh, when I change it to 240 then the voltage on the board should be lower. So I have rigged up and uh, ready to switch on and see what happened. And see uh, it's rising 19, 20 and it is rising less, it does not 20.1 volt. That, that's cool. Uh, it's exactly what it's supposed to be. Okay, and then we're going to adjust the voltage over that resistor and it was to be, um, I'm going to, um, what was it? Uh, 15 milliamps. Uh, 15 millivolts. And it was. Hmm. Oh my. That one. It's supposed to be 15 millivolts. And it is to be adjusted down there on this uh, R819. So pour back again and switch on. And you see it is who it's dropping fast. Okay. And I told 15 millivolt. Six, seven, eight, nine, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, tickling. Close enough. Very well. And then we do the same on the right channel. And as you could see, those bulbs, they were 
<laughs> Barley glowing. So you're going to uh, replace those bulbs without uh, destroying anything. Aha! Uh -huh. That's why they were only glowing because these bulbs they are 12 volt and it's supposed to be 6. 6.3 to be specific. So let's see if I have anyone. And why not use lead? These ones. Um, it is the same bulbs which is in pinball machines. They are also 6 volt. Oh my. And if I'm not wrong, these bulbs are connected in series. So if one is missing, then None is working. That was them all. Now let's see if I manage to make contact all over. Oh my goodness. Cool. And this moment is always so exciting. <laughs> Does it work? Well, that's uh, uh well. yeah. it does not work without power. Ooh, and well, all controls there are quiet. That's good. It's working way better than it has ever done. <laughs> well, of course, it has been working like this when it was new. But it did not work like this when I got it here. So, everything is just as it should be. So then I switched off. And we're going to put it all together again and give it a last finish. We do have an answer for the question I asked in the beginning of this episode. It would absolutely fix. It sounds marvelous. We had a little issue uh, with the adjustments, but we fixed that as well. Sounds great. Uh, I also been testing the radio, which works perfectly. And it does look great as well. And I have been taking notes from all the capacitors I have been replaced, so I have the list in case I get one more in to fix. As for this one, it's going to be put out for sale and uh, it will fill the living room for the happy new owner with very 
beautiful music. As for this episode, you, underst uh, you probably understand, it's very close to its end. I have a couple of things to do. I have to thank all of you for watching and uh, for your support. And you, these buttons down there. It's still only 4% of you who are watching who are clicking this subscribe button. Please click it. It is free. And maybe one day it will benefit me as well. And also this like button. Click them both, like, like and subscribe. So until next time, bye!